So I came into the guys tonight to uh, to film this part of the video. Uh, got my pen and me the calipers out and started measuring, and I've had a bit of a breaking revelation. <laughs> so what I've got here is a, a brake pad from a single pin stock bug uh, front caliper. Um, it's a stock bug caliper with the twin pins on this one against standard beetle stuff. In the centre here we've got um, the Talbot Horizon uh, pad which is uh, the brakes I've got on the front of my beetle and the um, 1986 uh, 944 uh, single pot rears. Now the first thing I didn't realise, probably everyone knows and it's just me, is the, the single single pin pads are smaller than the twin pin pads. So the first obvious thing is if you're going to be upgrading your brakes to discs is look to buy some uh, some twin pin discs. Um, so the singles work out at 49mm wide whereas the uh, the twins work out at 55mm 50 wide so you've got a couple of centimetres squared extra, um, extra size on there. Um, and then what I didn't realise actually because it had been such a long time between taking the car off the road which had the stock bug stuff on it and upgrading it to the Talbots is how much difference there is between the stock bug and the, the Talbots. So if you look at them side by side, say they're slightly over a third bigger. So you're going from the biggest stock bug one, which is 20.35 up to 31.82. So it's, a, say, a full third bigger um, foot size on the, uh, on the pad over a stock bug one. And then what I didn't realise until tonight is the, uh, the Talbot and the 944 are practically identical. Um, so they work out, it's literally one mil difference in the width and so it's probably nothing, it's just a manufacturing difference. And if you put them back to back, line them up carefully, the holes line up. <laughs> so the, 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 the Porsche ones have elongated holes in it, so I don't know if that actually caused an issue in terms of interchangeability or not. Um, the only difference I can see is, is a a difference in the thickness of meat that comes on the pad to start with. Um, so I'm not sure you could put the uh, the 944 in a Horizon uh, caliper, but it might go the other way around. Don't know why you'd want to do that. Maybe we can start making them if you can find the uh, Horizon ones only. So yeah, so I thought that might help. Please note though, uh, when I did measure them, I just basically did that. So I've not taken into account the profile on the top or any any fancy calculations. They are a rough measurements, um, but they all have a similar profile, so the error should be similar amongst them all. But yeah, I hope that helps. So this is a setup on the front of my rug. Um, so I've actually got drop spindles on my car. I don't think it makes any difference, but just so you know what I've got at least. Um, this is drop spindles on the back of there. Uh, the rotors or discs are completely standard, apart from the fact obviously I've converted it to, to five stud for the Porsche wheels. Um, and that's the Talbot Horizon caliper. Now the holes to bolt it on, the same as the bug one. So it literally just bolts straight on. There's there's no issues in terms of uh, spacings or anything like that, that that I remember at least. Um, however, it does sit slightly off centre, um, so you have to centralise it to the disc. Um, and to do that, we just simply put a couple of washers under there. So it, when we measured it and measured and checked and measured and checked again, <laughs> it's only about well on my setup, it's only about a mil out. Um, so you may want to double check if you do do this upgrade to make sure because I don't know if there's any differences between the different Talbot Horizon years and calipers. Looking from the, the back of the uh, the brakes, uh, that's the, the back of the uh, the caliper um, and it bolts through, there's a, a washer so to space it off by one mil uh, we used a, a couple of washers, um, they are just say box on, I think they're one, wing washers, um, I just double checked and it's definitely one mil um, on this car to centralise the ones I have, so you do double check it before you fit them, don't just go one mil, oh it'll work, you never know. Um, so yeah, so a caliper, one mil washer, and then bolt it up to the face, and it, say, it offsets it just enough towards the middle of the car uh, to centralise the caliper, for, for my setup at least. So if you look from the top here, um, what I went for was um, some nylon 
um, stainless braided hosing. Uh, I thought it was stainless until today, and that's just, it's a bit rusty at the end there. That's really annoying. <laughs> um, so what these basically do, the banjo fitting comes out and then it basically shoots out at 90 degrees. Um, so rather than coming straight up, it shoots out at 90 and then obviously you can point it vaguely towards the centre of the car. Um, I think these little babies cost me about 20, 25 quid, but that was say some time ago, so it may change in that time. Um, from a pneumatic hydraulic company. Um, and I did double check and these ones I have are 43 centimeters or 430 mil um, from the center to the nut where it goes through the, uh, the attach attachment there. Um, I think these are a bit on the long side. Um, they're not causing any issues in terms of clearance or anything. Um, I think they are a little touch on the long side. It's uh, a little unnecessary if that makes sense. I say, which you could go the same length, could go longer, but, uh, sorry, go shorter, but uh, just, just measure and double check before you go for it. Um, option B, which we did try briefly but not actually run, um, is if you use early, um, I think it's pre-67, um, maybe it's early, early, uh, so it could be pre-60, I don't know, um, rear um, brake hoses from a, a bug. So you, the standard stock early rear hoses are slightly longer. Um, and if you attach them off to the, sh the shoots up here, they go about this far up and before you can flex it over. Um, when we tried it, I felt like it was kind of in the way and it, I, it just didn't feel right. Uh, but I'm told you can use them successfully, so that is option B and it's a, it's a cheaper option if you wanted to try it first or if you just have some knocking around to give it a whirl. So in conclusion, it's a really easy mod to make. Um, all you have to do is bolt your, your caliper on. Uh, centralise it to your disc and uh, find a way of attaching it using the banjo or say early um, bug brake pipes. Um, jobs are good one. Um, in terms of performance they, they do seem to work well. It's hard to compare because I've not driven a stock bug with a stock set of brakes for such a long time. Um, but there seems to be a really good balance with um, these on the front and the, um, the 944 ones on the rear.